world's wildest police videos. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. And this is live on the power cam. Let's go, man. This guy is crazy. From around the world and across the country. She's in the woods. From your own backyard. This is the reality of law enforcement today. Look at that. Come on. For the next 60 minutes, look out, look out. you will be a witness. Shut your truck off. You will see everything an officer sees. Negative, negative. The fastest pursuits. The scariest shootouts. The most extreme and unusual crimes I need some help. ever captured on video. Police and news gathering agencies around the world have sent us this footage because they want you to see for yourself the insanity of criminal behavior. Because only when you've seen how it happens and why it happens can you make sure it doesn't happen to you. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell. I've been an officer long enough to know that some things never change. Crooks still think they can get away, and cops will do anything they can to stop them. It's always interesting, sometimes terrifying, but it's never boring. Get ready, you're about to see what it's really like. Palmdale, California. In the desert north of Los Angeles, two juveniles steal a van from a halfway house. The boys hit the freeway and head south. At first, the highway patrol gives them plenty of leeway. The CHP is maintaining a quite a large gap in their uh, pursuit here. They're, not... They're hoping these kids run out of gas or run out of courage. Well, they're not going that fast right at the moment. The calm doesn't last long. When the stolen car plunges into congested city traffic, we're at the southbound five now. We're... The driver starts to panic. He veers dangerously across lanes, then squeezes between a car and an 18-wheeler. All right, this should be interesting right here. One wrong move, and this could be a massive collision. But the teens don't back down. Instead, they hurtle forward. Ugh, oh, close. Nearly hitting this pickup. Then another car. I, uh, but, uh, oh, not gonna be good. When the driver is suddenly blocked by traffic, he turns fleeing and evading gonna have a wreck. into a felony hit and run. He sideswipes the black car, nearly running it off the road. Meanwhile, other drivers scramble to get away from these kamikaze kids. He's now picked up his speed here. But some just aren't fast enough. Amazingly, both vehicles somehow hold the road. Police cruisers narrow the gap, but that's not enough to stop these bad boys. They fly down an off-ramp. Okay, it's just diving off there, diving off, diving off to the right. Cut over a median and land right back on the freeway. Just when it looks like these speed demons may be out of steam. I'm just wondering if he hasn't got a flat tire. The van bounces off another truck and slides into a fishtail skid. There he goes, he lost it, he's losing it. Incredibly, these reckless rebels cheat disaster one more time. Boy. Finally, the suspects exit the freeway in the city of Anaheim. And where are they going after 50 miles of high speeds and near misses? That's Disneyland right there. But they never make it to the front gates. Instead, they lurch into this hotel driveway and run for cover but they can't cover their scent. In a matter of minutes, the police dog sniffs out the hapless hoodlums and corners them under a stairwell. These officers weren't about to make a bad situation worse. They were willing to be patient, but these marauding miners pushed patience and their stolen van to the breaking point. Gotta have a wreck. And when these pubescent public enemies tried to get a room, 
police made sure that the only place they checked into was Juvenile Hall. In Tarboro, North Carolina, police try to pull over a driver for an illegal U-turn. But just when it looks like this truck is about to stop, it mows down a mailbox and roars away. Immediately, the police begin to coordinate their efforts. They learn the men inside aren't just traffic offenders. They're wanted for the violent robbery of a local restaurant a few nights before. And there's more. Now police know who they're dealing with. The officers close in on the stolen SUV, trying to stop the suspects before they hit a major freeway. Get him, get him, get him! But the thieves thunder down the on-ramp. Come on, come on! These high-speed hoodlums plow through traffic at more than 110 miles an hour. This is going to be westbound Highway 64. Come on, back there. On a busy interstate like this, tragedy could be just an engine rev away. The police set up a roadblock, but before they can finish, these freeway felons blow right through. And we're on top of them. We can't exit at all. This driver's got a few tricks of his own, kicking up dirt and deliberately slamming on his brakes, trying to wreck the pursuing cruisers. But the officers are not intimidated. You gotta do better than that, bro. Ahead, police set up a second roadblock. They force the SUV onto the off-ramp, where they have a big surprise waiting. Got both the tires, front ride, back ride. Seen from a different angle, an officer deploys a spike strip in the suspect's path. The driver veers off the interstate and away from the strip, but the officer yanks the spikes right back under the tires. Incredibly, the flattened Ford rumbles back onto the interstate. But on two tires, it's not going too far. The SUV sails across a median in two lanes of oncoming traffic, then grinds to a halt. These desperados still have plenty of fight left in them. They head for the hills, this time on foot. The police go right after them. Moments later, these crooks are calling. Oh, put your wine And then they get another surprise. Oh, please. It's all been recorded. Hey, get out right there. You all on camera, bud. From the first squeal to the last whimper, the police used every tool they had from their radios to spike strips, from video cameras to their own two feet. Get it, get it, get it. Anything to make sure that the crime spree that began in a pizza parlor landed these two in county jail. See that right there? You all on camera, bud. Back wall here. Where criminals thrive, crime scene investigators follow. Half of a much bigger infraction, DUI. Yeah, I think the drink tonight. A couple beers. The officer decides to give the driver a sobriety test. Can you step on out here, please? Because I asked you to. No. I just want to talk to you. Why? Why not? Well, I understand that, but I just want you to step outside. Okay, you said you had a couple drinks. Well, make sure you didn't have too much to drink to be driving, okay? The driver insists that he's okay to drive. And just to prove his point, he hits the gas. That's all in pursuit, northbound on 3rd Street. The man's drunken weaving doesn't shake the officer. But it does shake a bale of chicken wire from his truck. It gives the passenger an idea. Toss out the evidence. They leave a trail of trash a mile long. But they aren't paying attention to where they're going. And now they're lost. The suspects can't handle a turn. They skid off the road and into a ditch. 
Nine just lost it. The two suspects try to bail. Get your hands up, boy! Don't move with your own ground! Your own ground now! Get out! But within seconds, they're both in custody. The driver gets nailed for felony fleeing. Watch out, Warren, for that wire. And his buddy, who started out innocent, gets a ticket of his own. And only just threw out a beer. Five hundred dollars for littering on an Arkansas highway. Hey, Dad. Through a crook's eyes, there's always easy money, open roads, and fast getaway. But from an officer's point of view, oh, look out, here we come. there's only danger. Pursuing a criminal on the run is dangerous enough. But when that criminal is suicidal, the stakes become deadly for everyone. Fairbury, Nebraska, in pursuit of a man with a death wish. Moments earlier, the officer pulled the driver over for a suspended license. The despondent man begged to be shot and killed. When the officer refused, the man dared him to a chase and took off. He's back up here at 8th and Elm Street. Now, the officer is struggling to keep up. The 4x4 handles the muddy roads easily. The patrol car has to slug its way through. The suspect pulls far ahead, charging toward a notorious part of the road. He's going to be coming out on 136 at Dead Man's Curve. Seconds later, the driver nearly T-bones a passing truck. His self-destructiveness is becoming homicidal. Southbound on Highway 15. And now he's headed straight for town. You let this thing stop? Yes, don't let it in town at all. Up ahead, other units hurriedly set up a roadblock. Look out, here we come. But the driver is on to them. He heads off-road. If he can make it through the snow, there will be no stopping him. The truck struggles in the heavy sludge. It's the break officers have been waiting for. The patrol car shoves the pickup sideways. The man shoots the officer a hard look. Then he throws it in reverse. But the officers aren't about to let him get away. The truck lurches back like a wild animal. But by the time it charges for the road, one officer shoots out a tire, while another hits the man with pepper spray. With both truck and driver incapacitated, this suicide run is finally over. Is that what you wanted today? It takes a lot to stop a driver this desperate and this dangerous. So when the officers finally got their one opportunity, they made every second count. Where there's easy money, there's easy crime. So casino gamblers have to watch their cash all the time. Otherwise, a big winner can become a big loser very quickly. Las Vegas, Nevada. Surveillance cameras track a suspicious looking character. His darting eyes and nervous demeanor say it all. He's a thief looking for a score. He spots a potential victim, a woman alone at a slot machine. And she has a cup full of silver dollars. He starts tossing quarters near her feet, trying to distract her. As a woman bends down to pick up the change, the man steals her coin cup. Sometimes criminals work in pairs to pull off the drop and grab. While one thief distracts the target, the other one steals his money. This couple is looking for coins dropped on the floor. As one thief keeps the pair distracted, another takes the lady's purse. Here, another thief diverts a gambler's attention while his partner makes the grab. Criminals who want to hit the jackpot know that the big money changes hands at the cashier's window. At this cashier's counter, a band of thieves is looking to make a big score. Circled in red on the left side of the screen, the team leader points out their target. The man's circled in green. He's waiting for his winnings, $10,000 in cash. To the target's left is the point man. He's positioned to make the grab. But there's a glitch. A young couple, circled in blue, has spotted the leader's signal. They know something's going down. Reacting quickly, one of the thieves walks over to divert their attention. He poses as a tourist asking for directions. 
The leader moves up to distract the person to the left of the point man. Meanwhile, another thief distracts the target. He asks him if he dropped the coin that lies near his feet. It's a variation of the drop and grab, and it works. While the target bends down to pick up the coin, the point man grabs the money from right under the cashier's nose. The thieves take off with their big score. But thanks to the evidence on tape, they soon will get another kind of payoff, jail time. To criminals, a casino can seem like a bank with an open vault. But with surveillance cameras watching every inch of the floor, it's a sure bet that in this game of chance, the house will always win. In Ashland, Nebraska, an officer sees a high-speed pursuit headed right for him. 26, shut it down. Moments earlier, this drugged-out driver fled a traffic stop. But at some point in this chase, he left something behind, his right front tire. The officer has to act fast to avoid being rammed. He whips his patrol car around and joins the chase as the three-wheeled fugitive races into the night. This is Ranger 2778 Romeo. High above, a police helicopter equipped with an infrared camera tracks the suspect. With officers chasing him in the sky and on the road, the man leans on the accelerator. But more speed equals more friction. Tiny pieces of the bare axle start melting and flying off in a shower of sparks. Seen through the infrared lens, the suspect leaves a trail of molten metal and scorched pavement. Still, the suspect thunders down the highway at impressive speeds. Dispatch speed, about 65. Police units wisely keep their distance, praying the man will give up before his car is engulfed by flame. Eventually, the miles of punishment force the car to slow down. My vehicle is now on fire. This 1078 vehicle is now on fire. Giving police units a chance to get ahead of the chase. 61 down Highwood. With cruisers surrounding him, the desperate suspect tries to weave through the intersection. He doesn't get far. Seeing an opportunity, an officer slams into the fleeing vehicles, spinning it out. However, the cruiser ends up plowing into a snowdrift. Astonishingly, the suspect restarts the abused car and drives away. The chase is on, again. The suspect is willing to run forever, but his car has had enough. He can't go any farther on three wheels so the suspect makes a break for it on two feet. Dispatch, foot pursuit, foot pursuit! Reacting in a heartbeat, the police quickly surround him and bring the man back in cuffs. 26, shut it down. This three-wheeling renegade pushed his luck and pushed his car past the breaking point. The vehicle is now on fire. But the police took their time. We want this guy shut down then took their best shot. And finally, took this sparking speed demon off the streets. You send fire and rescue immediately. Wearing the badge. Get out of the car. It's never simple. Oh it's never easy. Through the window, buddy. And it's never what you'd expect. North Carolina. When a wanted thief in a Ford Mustang is spotted by officers, he puts the pedal to the metal. So do police. Immediately, three different units equipped with dash cams zero in on the high-speed hoodlum. The suspect blasts through this tiny town, thundering down the wrong side of the road. And terrifying other drivers who quickly get out of his way. I was concerned he, we, we wouldn't catch him. Uh, 
also that he may hurt somebody before we did get him stopped. In a split second, this public menace is beyond the city limits. The suspect dies for cover on a side street. Hot on his heels, the first unit loses control and skids into a ditch. But the driver has to dodge two other units. He slams on the brakes, cuts to the right, and rips through a field. Uh, we have a the second dash cam unit closes in. As the suspect fishtails wildly, blinding the cruiser behind him with a thick cloud of red dust. He then roars back onto the highway in the opposite direction. The backup unit immediately reverses course, and the chase rages on. Burning rubber, the desperate driver nearly broadsides a pickup as he hangs a sharp left into a driveway. Unable to stop, the Mustang slams into a fence. Although an officer tries to pin the driver in the car, he brazenly shimmies out the window, scrambles over the hood, and jumps the fence. But officers go right after him. He had a very good start on me. He looked back at me one time like, oh, I got you, and then the next time he looked back, he, all he saw was me. Moments later, the suspect is collared and cuffed. From the beginning, these officers had to work together to keep a dangerous situation from turning deadly. This dust devil was no match for a coordinated police effort. And all the horsepower in the world couldn't keep the law from fencing in this Mustang. Atlanta, Georgia, a bizarre chase has downtown traffic at a standstill when a pair of four-legged farm fugitives barrel their way onto this crowded freeway. Be advised, subject is all over the road. Moments ago, the 16-ton trailer they were being transported in crashed. Cow shifted weight on us, and all of a sudden, the trailer flipped over. And now, there are two 1,000-pound suspects making a break for it. This may not have been a premeditated escape, but it has now turned into a perilous pursuit. He must be from around here. He knows the road's pretty good. And just when things couldn't be more dangerous, the distraught owner warns police of how dire the situation really is. Both heifers are pregnant, only days away from giving birth. Now the Atlanta police are racing against time to corral these crafty cattle. Units, the advised suspect is not stopping. This officer risks everything Box him in. when he steps into the path of the charging suspect. But these stampeding bovines won't be stopped. They nearly lost it. After a tense standoff, Police finally convince this suspect to give up. Officers take one of the culprits into custody, but the other runaway takes to the streets. She charges into the parking lot of a hamburger joint, possibly looking for revenge. A police negotiator steps in, but Bessie won't be backed into a corner. But moments later, this suspect's behind bars. I'm just glad that we didn't harm the calves and didn't harm the cows. And eventually, you'll calm down from this experience, won't you? You're still looking at me like you remember it. Certainly for our officers. They've not had to deal with anything like this before. These hard-charging, illegal lane-changing, tough-as-leather desperados did all they could to evade capture. But the Atlanta police were willing to do more to round up these unusual suspects and herd them back to the pen. In Valley Brook, Oklahoma, two officers on patrol spot a possible drunk driver. Let's see if we can get the tag number. The officers hit their lights and signal for the pickup to pull over. Stand by myself and five are trying to stop the vehicle here westbound. But as the driver approaches a red light, he shows no signs of stopping. They're gonna run from us. It's impossible to know why these men are blasting through this red light. Yeah, they're running from us. 
But there are two things the officers can be sure of. The first is that anyone who runs from the law is a danger to everyone on the road. Put your seatbelt on, he's speeding up. The second is that these guys are doing double the speed limit. Camera approaching shield now, we're about 70 miles now. At these speeds, there's no way they're making it through a busy intersection. The pickup caroms off the curb in a shower of sparks, fishtailing wildly into the intersection and slamming to a bone-jarring halt. The truck looks disabled, but until the suspects are in custody, no one is safe. Get out of the car, now! The driver says his door is jammed. Get out, through the window, buddy, out this way. But the officer has no intention of letting him stay behind the wheel. The suspect refuses to comply, struggling with the officers and hooking his feet inside the truck. I ain't doing nothing wrong. But the police have had enough. One of the officers runs around to unhook the man's leg. The driver is taken down the hard way. Oliver Clark County. We got two in custody. Let's go, partner. Some people run trying to keep their freedom. Yeah, they're running from us. But when this renegade smashed and crashed, his freedom went right out the window. That makes some good video, I guarantee you. Get out of there, Chris. Get out there. Criminals make bad decisions. He's turned off his lights. They talk tough. I will show ya. Break rules. Wrong side of the road. And risk lives. Oh, but when the damage is done, their choices affect you. When a pursuit heats up, an officer kicks into high gear. But even with the adrenaline pumping, the officer has to remain patient enough to wait and alert enough to know when to make his next move. Los Angeles, California. A stolen camera blows onto a busy freeway. Let's move in close. Police have been on this car thief's tail since they spotted the vehicle in South Central. It's just incredibly dangerous. He is all over the place. But now the suspect's attempts to make a quick getaway are squelched by the increasing traffic. All this traffic is really slowing him down. LAPD's right there. Feeling the heat, this reckless felon cranks up the speed. Well, he's pushing at least 100 miles an hour. Heading straight for a bumper-crunching catastrophe. With police units in hot pursuit and slow-moving traffic coming up, the crazed car thief rams into a sedan. Did you catch that? He just hit that vehicle. Crashing into the car ahead of him, the driver then takes off like nothing happened. The speedometer pushes towards 100 as the driver frantically traverses from freeway. He's all over this freeway. Uh, the LAPD is right behind him. To freeway. And when the vehicle rages onto city streets, uh, he's whipping right through cross traffic. He blasts into opposing lanes of traffic. Wrong side of the road. Oh! He's racing through another intersection. Suddenly, the silver Camry cuts off this van and whips into a parking lot. The suspect turned into a shopping area now. The suspect is trapped. Black and whites block the ends of the streets. In a surprise move, he tries to bolt. Looks like he's getting out of the car. Let's see if he runs. He barely gets a leg out of the door before officers rush in. That's it. That's it. Code four, this pursuit is over. This car-stealing speedster was running scared. He tried the freeway, the tough way, and every which way to lose the police. But the moment this suspect tried to take off on foot, he was destined to go down the hard way. With cooperation, most calls are over in minutes. But if someone refuses to cooperate, that's obstruction and that's a crime. In Martin, Tennessee, Police respond to anonymous tips accusing this teenager of selling drugs. The camera in a second unit rolls as the officers try to talk to the young man. How old are you, son? I'm just 15 years old, sir. Okay. But before they can even tell the teenager why they were called, the officers are interrupted. Okay. 
Right now we're talking to him. It's a simple request for cooperation. Take me jail because that's my brother. But the suspect's older sister is anything but helpful. No, you're going to go on. No, you can take me jail because that's my brother. fixing to go. With her words and her actions, she leaves the officers no choice but to arrest her. I'm only 17, you handcuff me. I will sue ya. But when they handcuff her, things get even crazier. Friends, neighbors, and relatives arrive, screaming at the officers as they put the sister in the car. Things are definitely in danger of getting out of control. But before this turns into a roadside riot, a neighbor helps the police clear everyone out. Go on, y'all, go on, go on. The sister is taken to the station. Meanwhile, the officers finally get to talk to the young man. Just chill out a minute. We got a call that possibly you were selling drugs. And you know what we have to do? Listen to me. All we want to do is check and see. Do you have any drugs on? Oh, sir. How, how hard was that? It's amazing how simple this could have been. You're not in trouble. And your sister went and got in trouble for nothing. When the boy's mother arrives, the officers take her aside and give her a full explanation. If somebody was messing with my brother, I'm going to take up for him, but she got, she got a little out of hand. Now, we put her in handcuffs because that's our policy. One officer even offers to give the mother a ride to the station to see her daughter. Well, I can carry you down there, and I can bring you all back. It can be that easy when there's cooperation. Kingston, North Carolina. Sheriff's deputies respond to a call of a fleeing robbery suspect. 33 away, Central, uh, the officers weave through heavy traffic looking for the chase. But suddenly, the chase finds them. Watch out, Chris. Watch out. The deputies whip a U-turn, adrenaline coursing through their veins. Oh, boy! As several units converge on the suspect, he roars onto the median, churning up a wall of dust. The deputies coordinate a move to cut him off. But the crook makes a move of his own, straight into oncoming traffic. Officers quickly divide their duties. While two units help the injured civilian, the deputies go after the foot bailing felon. Get up there, Chris. Get up there. One officer jumps from the cruiser. The other drives ahead, closing off the suspect's path. The fugitive is outmanned. Within seconds, he's in custody. We do have a 1072. Back at the accident scene, officers tend to the civilian, who is lucky to survive. Police secure the area and gather the evidence that will put this guy away for a long time. In an instant, this lone robber became a one-man wrecking crew. But he was no match for the hard-hitting teamwork of the Wayne County deputies. The semi-truck has toppled over. From the coldest car stops. Can I see a driver's license, please? to the hottest pursuits. Police sweat it out. When city streets become hell on earth. Teton County, Wyoming. Driving in a Rocky Mountain snowstorm can be treacherous. This driver has been weaving all over the road. But Teton deputies are worried there might be more to it than bad weather. They're afraid the man may be DUI. Hey, can I see a driver's license, registration, insurance, please? You had anything to drink? The reason I asked because I can't smell a slight odor of an alcoholic beverage. The driver admits he's had a few beers. The officers conduct a field sobriety test. What I'd like to have you do is take, uh, with whatever foot you choose to use, I want you to hold it six to eight inches off the ground like I have here. Off to the side of the road, you'd think they'd be safe. But then, the unthinkable happens. Another motorist skids out of control on the ice, slamming into the back of the officer's vehicle. The impact knocks the car 10 feet forward and dislodges its dash cam. You all right? Fortunately, the officer and his suspect aren't injured. 
but they fear for the other driver. Jackson 2235, you might get an ambulance coming this way. A uh, guy run right into the back of me. Amazingly, the motorist suffered only a bloody nose. A crash like this could have left him far worse. You all right? The drivers involved in the accident tested sober, but driving in bad weather can be just as dangerous as driving drunk. And that's a lesson they all learned that night. Watch out! The hard way. To protect and serve. It's the sworn duty of every police officer. And when it comes to saving lives, even though it seems hopeless, an officer never gives up. Los Angeles, California. On a rain-slick freeway, tragedy shuts down four lanes of traffic. The semi-truck has toppled over. It's a nightmarish accident, and it gets worse. We're told that there's a small car that's pinned underneath. I just need to confirm, do we have anyone trapped in the vehicle? Witnesses tell police that the driver is still inside the crushed car. The situation looks grim. These rescuers can't even see what it is that they're trying to uncover. The possibility of anyone surviving underneath tons of steel seems unthinkable. I do have medical attention for you heading that way. But even if the odds are a million to one, emergency crews have to try. Fire and rescue teams working at a breakneck pace. Forming a human conveyor belt, rescuers try to remove as much weight as possible. Next, they attach ropes to the sides. But lifting a truck like this requires heavy machinery. As the crane slowly heaves the trailer up, police and rescuers prepare for the worst. This is extremely dangerous. Finally, they lift away the truck. It looks like he is. He's moving. It's the driver, still breathing. Rescuers quickly use the jaws of life to pry open the mangled door. He's getting out. I don't believe it. Amazingly, the driver steps out and walks away from the wreckage. This is a miracle. Paramedics assist on checking his vital signs and taking every precaution. He's transported to the hospital for observation. But the driver doesn't have a scratch. Even his doctor can't quite believe it. He's done remarkably well for somebody who spent some time under a truck. The driver knows he's cheated no death. No sabía si iba a vivir. It was a horrific wreck, and police realize it could have been much worse. I just need to confirm, do we have anyone trapped in the vehicle? Had this man's car gone a foot more in either direction, this trailer... I do have medical and for you heading that way. ...might have been his tomb. Jefferson County, Texas. A sheriff's deputy tries to pull over a car for a minor traffic violation but the driver and his passenger won't cooperate. 156, don't want, I got one running. They have an urgent reason to run. They're throwing the dope out the window at this time. The driver is on probation. Being caught with drugs would put him away for a long time. They just threw out a big bunch. He rockets down the highway at dangerous speeds. We're in the traveling race of 110 miles an hour. 10-4, we're coming that way pretty quick. Stopping the car will be tough. The driver is desperate and unpredictable. We're trying to pass this truck on the right. The deputy tries to stay one step ahead of the suspects. All right, we're heading north. Come on, give me a 28 as quick as you can. After several abrupt changes of direction, okay, we're down spike. they finally get nailed by spike strips. All right, he hit. But two flat tires make the driver even more erratic. Oncoming vehicles desperately veer aside as the car barrels toward them. Another unit speeds ahead to corral the maniacs. With one whole tire gone, the car should be crippled. But the driver is relentless. Now the officers have to use muscle. They ram the car persistently, knowing something has to give. Finally, it begins to shower sparks. Then the unbelievable happens. He's on fire. He's on fire. Back off. The car careens across the road like a renegade comet. And then it lands in a ditch. 
The flames could blow the gas tank at any second. Officers now have to rush to save the suspect's lives. Get out now! Get out now! Get out now! They pull the passenger clear, but the driver puts up a fight, keeping the struggle near the burning car. It's a deadly place to be. The gas tank explodes, sending a plume of fire into the sky. Amazingly, officers pull the driver away just in time. In order to stay out of jail, these drug runners burned up the streets. But wherever they went, the law was there. And their breakneck getaway ended up in flames. He's on fire, he's on fire. To criminals, rules are for breaking, and cash is for taking. Roads are for racing, and cars are for chasing. Stay on him. But criminals couldn't be more wrong. They aren't going to get away with stealing. Mom, please. And they aren't going to get away scot-free. Police are on their tail and in their face. Because the badder they are, the harder they fall.